Uh, we are going to get to some breaking news out of the Middle East where CBS is carrying a live report right now on the latest developments happening there. We understand that Iran State TV says Tehran has launched tens of missiles at an air base in Iraq. So let's go to it right now. That a rocket attack was launched against the al-Assad air base northwest of Baghdad a short time ago. One administration official says there are no reports of casualties. About six uh, rockets were launched. There are also uh, a, apparently an attack on the U.S. consulate in Erbil, north in northern Iraq. In that case, two rockets were uh, supposedly launched, and there are no reports of casualties in that attack either. Earlier, Iranian state television announced that its Revolutionary Guards were conducting a missile attack on al-Assad uh, Air Base in retaliation for the drone strike which killed Qasem Soleimani. So Iran, the government of Iran, appears to be taking credit for this attack. This, if that is correct, then this was not just another rocket attack by a Iranian-backed militia in in Iraq, which may or may not have been acting on its own, this, according to that announcement by Iranian state TV, would be an attack ordered by the government of Iran against a base where U.S. troops are located. In Can fact, and that's question. an important mm. right, and that's an important point, David, that that you point out mm. because some of these. Uh, rocket attacks have been carried out by proxy forces in the past, but we are now hearing from the IRGC that their aerospace unit uh, launched this attack with tens of ballistic missiles on the al-Assad military base in the name of martyr General Soleimani. Um, so they are claiming responsibility. And of course, this follows the news uh, reporting that the Ayatollah Iran's supreme leader has said that he wanted Iran's forces to carry out such an attack. They're using the word missiles, uh, which is uh, significant, uh, because they have missiles which have sufficient range to reach uh, Baghdad and west of Baghdad from Iranian territory. We don't have this confirmed yet, but it is entirely possible that this missile attack was actually launched from Iranian territory, not just uh, ordered from Iranian territory, but carried out from Iranian territory. The next big question, of course, is what will the American response be? And that remains to be seen. And that is the frightening scenario that presents itself tonight. Uh, not only um, the health of our U.S. service members in Iraq, there are some 5,000 serving uh, in Iraq, a number of diplomats as well. We are told the president has been briefed on this situation. Uh, earlier today, the president in the Oval Office said that the U.S. will fight back will retaliate. Uh, the Pentagon also saying today in a briefing with their defense secretary that the U.S. is prepared for such an attack. I want to bring in Holly Williams because she is in Iraq tonight in Baghdad, which is how far would you say, uh, Holly, from uh, this air base? All right. We have been following closely as CBS News covers uh, some rocket strikes that have been taking place in the Middle East. We will continue to monitor uh, those developments that are happening as well as CBS Evening News. And of course, we're going to have the latest at clickorlando.com and tonight on News 6 at 11.